All right, all right, all right, but not of the shenanigans, not of the shenanigans. All right, man, quite busy, it's quite busy, you know, December 1st of the month, yeah, Christ to the masses time, you know, for me, you know, not, not only all Christmas time, I'm, mm. All right, all right. Okay, check this out. I, I, I like this one. I don't know if I did a message on this one, but if I didn't do a message on it, I got to do one. Yes, I got to do one on this one here, this one here, this one right here. But first, before I get this message done, let's get a shout out to the heavens. Let's get a shout out to the heavens. Woo, look at heaven. Showing off his splendor and glory. The heavens, the heavens, the heavens. We gotta give a shout out to heaven, y'all. Can't let leave heaven hanging up there. What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? But anyways, um uh this is very important right here because this one's going to help understand people's idea desire of temptation of why do they really pretty much go after things what the, the 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 drive of you going after the things of this world and of the things that you know look pleasing to the eyes the carnal my uh, carnal eyes of you why would you go after or keep going after the world this is why this is the mechanisms that people, you know, are not questioning to try to find out the reason why their motivation, you know what I'm saying, is going to this, you know, negative destination. And and, and when and watch this, and when they come out, when they try to get out of the destination, they find themselves going back to the destination because of this reality. And this reality is. The reality of what am I missing? It's going to call reality of fear. What am I missing? More likely, fearing what you are missing. You know, you you think that you are met when 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 people. You know, I, I know. You know, y'all kind of week you know y'all partied all week and you know got you know the consists of party you probably got drunk got high had sex something you know you do on your weekends or something wrong abuse or whatever dark it is and you go back try to go back to the your world the school and you go back to or your job or you know you go back to these to try to go back to life, you know? And you know, like the song, Back to Reality. <laughs> but some really, not really go back there, you know? Because they're, they're in a fantasy, dark mindset, they're thinking that, you know, their way of life is the way life is supposed to be going, you know? And somehow no consequences doesn't happen when you continue this action of darkness but that's the illusion that people in darkness tends to believe that oh nothing didn't happen this time Woo! now it's time to do it again yeah but here's the thing somebody put before you a path of a righteousness a path that you know it's not, you know, about telling you, you need to do this, you need to go live right. You need, you know, no, he's the person that's trying to give you something or they live out a pattern before you to say that this can work. You know what I'm saying? This can really help you become a better person. This can really help you to accomplish true goals in life and not just for yourself, but to help others and others around you in the cycle of making this world a better place. This is the answer. More likely, somebody present that to you and you like, hmm, that sounds, that looks good. 
You know what I'm saying? I should try this out. And all of a sudden, you try this out and you start, you know, uh, hearing it and it makes sense. And you start hearing it and sharing it. Yeah, sharing it and fellowship and finding a friend that, you know, uh, is on that tip. You know what I'm saying? A tip of righteous uh, on want, wanting desiring righteousness won't won't right things of his life now watch this this friend that you're talking about is not perfect you know what i'm saying they made their mistakes they did they dirt just like anybody else but yet they still desire a path of righteousness to do better things with their life you know what i'm saying this this is what this people desire you know but they know they're not where they need to be at to really accomplish such things like that, you know? They know that they're not there yet, you know? But guess what? They're willing to, you know, share the word of God and share, you know, the righteousness of God and come in agreement to, you know, allow it to make them, help them to become a better person. And you start hanging with this person and you start fellowshipping with this person and the thing is, things start getting better. And you kind of like, nah, I don't need to go to this club. Nah, I don't need to go over here. Nah, I don't need to go over there. I'm finna just go, me and my friend over here, we just finna chill out, go see a movie, or go do this, or go do that, and stay away from that darkness. Then we gonna go back, and we gonna talk and fellowship the word of God, and do what's up like that. And you know, we gonna try to get things right. But, and then when that cycle comes and things start getting better, all of a sudden, a fear comes along. But guess what? Here's the thing. You don't know that it's a fear. You know what I'm saying? You think that it's just, you know, wait a minute. Go to cut. I mean, just Satan, you know, come attacking you and with ideas of what, what you're missing out, going to the club, who you ain't talking to. Who, who 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 wants to get with you? Who think they better than you? Nobody ain't better than you. You got good friends that they know, you know, that do this for you and do that for you. And this guy wants you or that girl like you. And you know what I'm saying? You they give you those remind you of the ideas of what you are been missing out on. You know, concerning what you normally do. Remember how good you feel in your high. Remember how good you feel when you were drunk. Remember how, you know, that remembrance of the negative state of mind you was at and how free, carefree you were in bliss and, you know, you felt like you're on top of the world. Satan is going to send demons or whoever, evil spirits, to remind you of the play of the person you was, once was, is is one of the most important, uh, most important fight that you know that you will experience. You know what I'm saying? That it's going to remind you of the pleasure of darkness and how much you enjoy that pleasure and how much you had a great time and how much you felt like you were you. In that in that time, it's going to continue to do that. And you're going to wonder. That's what the whole idea of this fearful reminder is to wonder. Hmm, what am I missing out on there? You know, and your friend's going to tell you, you know, oh, I ain't see you in a while. Oh, I ain't see you in a while up there. What happened? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's, you know, they're going to give you that, you know, negative reminder and you, you know, you know, hopefully saying, you know, got a better direction, you know, found a better direction. You know what I'm saying? That's going to help me be better. But here's, but that's going to be, this is going to be your main monster. Main monster. You missing out on how you feel when you were in darkness. You missing out the, you know, the, the bliss that you define as high you de you define from your view of the flesh that is the greatest high or the greatest elevation of pleasure you ever feel but you judging it 
from an earthly standard, but you're finding yourself, you know, fellowshipping with somebody about righteousness, peace and joy and the Holy Ghost and the Word of God and participating in, you know, spiritual, you know, activity, you finding yourself, you know, going to a higher level and a higher standard and understanding that others, need, you know, has a desire to go higher and fighting the good fight of faith just like you is and they're willing to fight with you. You find this, you know, uh, the people trying to elevate to be a better person for the sake of bettering themselves, you know what I'm saying? No contests, you know what I'm saying? There's no, you know, body trying to be, how you doing? Be, be better than nobody, but they understand they got to be a better person in order to continue to have life and life more abundantly because they know the wages of sin is death. You meet these people that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that, that, you know, about that nonsense. I mean, even about people that make sense and you see, you start separating with your view of I, that these people are nonsense. These people ain't about trying to help people to become better people you know you see what's going on and now th there's a decision you got to make you know what I'm saying there's a decision you got to make and you know the sad part about these decisions most people make they don't base them upon their kid they people have kids and they don't base it upon their kids their kids future you know that what about your kids future of wanting to be influenced in an idea that is unrighteous, you know? What about that? I mean, you have to consider not yourself. And you can't be selfish in this position. But guess what? That fear, you know what I'm saying? That fear that comes within you, that comes upon you, telling you that, you know, come back to darkness. Come back to darkness. You're missing out on something that is wonderful, that wonderful times with this person and that person, you missing out, you missing out, will be the full throttle of Satan's kingdom of darkness be, to get you back in the wrong game, the, the losing game, the lo game that you're lo putting yourself in position to lose your life. You're, you're losing your life the wrong way. You're losing, but the Bible talks about losing your life as your lifestyle that you was once living that was leading you in darkness and gaining a new one that you can have life, life more abundantly. But you're, you know, wanting this, this desire to go back to it. But guess what? All I want to talk, say this. When you went back, you know, What's going to be the difference? I mean, when you go back to darkness, what is going to be the difference? You know, I just want to ask those people that question. When you go back, what's the difference? Tell me what's the difference. And what a difference you are making. Or because God told me you can either do this. You can either make a difference of your life or you can make your life difficult. And the thing is, there's no such thing of really in darkness making a difference. Uh, it's only in darkness you make things difficult. Things get more difficult, you know what I'm saying? You you treat people negative, you be around negative, you're gonna treat people negative, you're gonna um, be about saying negative things to people, subtracting yourself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, um, not helping nobody. You'll be about your selfish agenda, trying to get yourself high and drunk and get yourself, you know, all, you know, have you know having sex and stuff like that it's about you it's about your pleasure and your pleasure and it's not going to make a difference for nobody really it's going to lead everybody in this dark cycle that's going to lead people to a wrong direction so the thing is that's what this fear is not going to tell you it's, it's not going to care less about your direction of you becoming a better person so I'm just going to tell you, you know, you keep need to pray, need to get with people and discuss your reaction. I mean, you know, the fear attacking me. Pray for me that I keep, you know, going the right direction. You know what I'm saying? That's why you need to be honest about yourself and honest about your position so you can continue going the right direction. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's what's the message. I hope you conquer your fears and walk by faith and not by sight and don't do what the devil say. All right? To God be the glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name.